Hey guys and welcome back to the Fan Perspective and that is right another week another match day another match day vlog and yes we are back on Wembley Way because we're going to yet again the London Stadium to watch West Ham versus Leicester it's a mid-table clash 13th versus 14th but two sides around two completely different stories at the moment Leicester are struggling to concede goals four clean sheets in the last five four wins in their last five and only a loss to Pep Guardiola's Manchester City side West Ham however they're really struggling to score goals big big losses recently especially in the cup whereas New whereas Leicester won 3-0 against Newport West Ham actually went out on penalties to Blackburn Rovers so not having the best time considering they're actually having a decent form in Europe top of their group but apart from that Moyes is really on the edge of his seat at the moment but you know it's a real tight game to be honest because at the start of the season Leicester weren't having the best time and it shows this because the bookies are to say that West Ham are the favourite 6-5 for West Ham they're the home side I guess you'd expect it at the 3 o'clock kickoff the home fans are a big advantage uh, for a draw and Leicester Leicester is 23 to 10, so essentially 2 to 1. But you guys actually think West Ham are going to win as well. So West Ham are the favourites on the bookies odds and that. But I'm going to say a controversial one here. Owen, I believe, thinks the same. But I'm going to go with a draw. I'm going to go with a goal draw. I'm going to go with 1-1. One, one. Owen, do I give you a prediction as well? Mm, it's, a, it's a difficult game it is because both teams are up and down in form recently. Leicester's been good in the last few games. I think it could be 2-1 Leicester, actually. Oh, 2-1 Leicester. It's not a favoured one for you guys, but all right, so hopefully Owen is correct. Either way, you guys are obviously giving your predictions as well. If you do enjoy these videos, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live so you don't want to miss them. And yeah, like we do every week, let's get to the ground. All right, so that's probably the worst transition you're ever going to see, but just had some food. We're in Westfield, and I've had a look at the squads, and I'm not going to lie, I was, even though I said 1-1, I was kind of more confident in Leicester getting goals. Looking at the lineups, despite Leicester being informed, West Ham do have a much stronger squad out, a very decent back line. And the 4 through 3 ish formation with the two holding midfielders and the quality and skill of Paqueta just in front of them, it's a very strong squad. Because we know Bowen, Ben Rama, and Skamaka all get goals, so they just need to find their form again. The likes of Leicester, however, yes, I understand Sumare is a great holding midfielder, Tielemans is in scoring streamers, but Drew Spree Hall, he's still yet to prove himself to me. I'm expecting big things from Madison. But you know, I'm still gonna stick with a draw. One one. <laughs> Three minutes before kickoff. Yeah. Let's just say we're on the wrong side of the ground. Jesus Christ, let's go. I can say that's the first time ever that to do that. We're at the turn star now. Again. Oh, uh, how much did we miss? Three minutes, not too bad. Uh let's throw away it's full. And uh yeah, it seems like let's show a good run in the game so far, so let's see what happens, I guess. And Leicester already had the lead, to be fair, it was a massive bit of luck. It was a great pullback from, I believe it was Jusby Hall, and Samari's absolutely scuffed his effort. He's managed to make it a somewhat at the back post, I'm not really too sure at the moment. Uh, I'll get that to you in a second, but it was a decent finish, to be honest, uh, considering the circumstances he was in. Look this, James Madison. He's been called up for England for a reason, decent finish. good for Leicester or James Madison himself he's managed to get himself on the plane he's also got himself a goal today but he's got himself a knock he's come off Dennis Pratt's replaced him he hasn't played that much football he's also lost his Belgian spot so he's got something to prove today but hopefully West Ham can get a goal and level the playing fields Magical feat for Ben Rama again. Beautiful work. The home fans are going mental. He's managed to get past the defenders really easy. I believe it was Thayer or I don't know how to pronounce his name. Good tackle for the defender. And to be honest, Ward's showing himself he's in good form. There's a reason why he's conceded one goal in five games. Paqueta's really not throwing his price tag at the minute. That is the biggest scuffed effort I've seen since 2012, mate. Bring the game to life. It's end-to-end -end football. West Ham have had lots of efforts. They've got to find something somewhere. 
It was a good finish, but it doesn't count. At least it gives some hope for West Ham. They've shown that they can finish up a move. It's just, um, yeah, still 1-0 less. <laughs> They say from Ward, fair play to him, he's proven all his critics wrong. I'll slow it down for you in the clip, but yeah, it did look like he took the man out as well. He did touch the ball, but it's gone to VAR, oh, possible penalty down. check to Leicester, because Ian Dacker is still down, it's a bit of a worrying one for the striker. No. From bad to worse, West Ham. First, they get their goal disallowed. Now, now, now they could go from one goal down to two. I don't know who's going to take the penalty with James Madison off the pitch, but yeah, Craig Dawson was brought down from Patton Dacker, and now they got a chance from the spot. Yeah! Hey, save! Oh my God, the West Ham about to go mental. We have a game around here, baby, but it's still one now. That is it, then goes 45 minutes play and you have to say West Ham have been the better side. They've had a few key chances and they have got the ball into the back of their net but the score still stays a 1-0. Most notably because Tielemans missed the penalty. It's nothing against the penalty himself, it was an okay penalty but it was an outstanding save into the corner. We go into half time 1-0, I said 1-1. Owen said 2-1 to Leicester. You feeling confident about your prediction, man? I mean, with, with, with Madison off, hopefully Kelly doesn't rock but it would be a real shame if he's missing yeah. the game. England. Um, Leicester don't have many people up front, so it's going to be hard to see what chances they create. But I think it'll either be 1 1 or 2 1 for either team. It's going to be a close game still. Yeah, I, can, I say it's almost every time, but I can definitely see goals for the second half. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Let's get into the second half. I'm forever blowing bubbles! Been the goalkeeper today, another good chance for Ben Rama. He's been he's been good on the ball today, but he seems a bit too school for himself. He just I don't think he understands how fast he's moving his feet half the time. Who was it the other day? Aston Villa, right? Aston Villa. Right? Oh. Bad for West Ham at the moment, though. Considering the, the only time they managed to get the ball in the back of the net, it was offside. And apart from that, it's just the final move that they can't get right inside of the final pass, or they just can't get past the goalkeeper. Rodgers must be a little bit worried here. They've taken off Tielemans, who was kind of at fault. Um, for um, most of the times they've lost possession this half and they brought in Ndidi, a much more solid defensive midfielder. People are going to realise. Oh! It's a West Ham, they've actually switched up a little bit and managed to get a corner past the first man. Oh! Give it to the Leicester defence, they're acting strong. Everything that West Ham throws them, it seems like they can deal with them and get it out of the box. They, they can't do anything with it, like, they're booting out of the pitch and West Ham win it again, but it's one way to run the clock down, half an hour left. Oh 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 Mac is doing If he couldn't get it, I'm sorry, but it looks like he's watched them waiting for someone to tap it into that post. He's the one in the back post. Great counter attack in play, Declan Rice with a challenge. Good ball into the back post, but you've got to at least to get something on the end of that, I'm sorry. Leicester looking to kill the game now, triple substitution, the likes of Jamie Vardy, Mr. Red Bull himself, uh, Mendy a decent holding midfielder, and just trying to sit behind the ball and hopefully put Vardy in behind, he's not got the pace he once had, but it's something for him. minutes ago it was a rare chance for the away side and they really wasted it. They had, a, we had an advantage on the edge of the box, they're going to take a free kick. They decided to play on. It was good defending from West Ham but the left player scuffed it. They had two shooting opportunities both in the box and on the edge of the box. And yeah, at the end of the day they put it one. They're still one the look 15 minutes to go. It's tough to see a goal coming for here, I'm not going to lie.
that has to stand on the seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I called it. What West Ham push up did too much. They haven't took their chances today. Leicester pounced them. It's a great through ball by, I'm not going to lie, I don't know who it was. But I believe it was Harvey Barnes that finished it. Great finish through the, uh, just past the goalkeeper. Slid it in. I know a lot of people in the Leicester are aware today and they're having the time of their lives. To be fair, Leicester's two best players are still on their way. 12 minutes left. And they're still winning. Yeah, Madison's them off. And to be honest, they haven't looked the best side attacking. They've only had about two or three chances for the rest of the game. But they're defending wisely. They've run the clock down. And, well, yeah, they're about to walk away with three points by the looks of things. Stand. They get the ball into the box. Well done by the rest of the fence. Goes out for a corner and clear the front post again. It's the amount of time. It's absolutely heaven for the away end. It's, it's, it's a terrible view for the home side. I'm not going to lie. Even more sour taste in the, the home fans' mouths. Tottenham have somehow scored two goals in a minute and they're 4 3 up against Leeds. Uh, my flatmate's actually that game. So, near Cope, you had a good time, mate. Big question at full time, however, is will James Madison make it to the World Cup? And that is it, guys. Then another game done. 90 minutes have been played, and Leicester, fair play to them, deserve to win. They showed that if you, even if you don't have the ball, you sit back and you make some defensive tactics. You can hit people on the break. They've shown what they've done for the past many years. It was a nice little touch from both Brendan Rodgers and the away fans at the end. Come and clap for them. Where a few weeks ago, it looks like he was about to lose his job, but now he's loved more than ever. I believe it's five wins in the last six games, and about one goal conceded, or something like that. Uh, West Ham, or on the other end, obviously they've just been leapfrogged in the league. They can't seem to score goals. Today was a perfect example of that. They had all the chances, but the only time they could put the ball into the back of the net was from an offside position. Some very big chances for West Ham today, and they were given the life as well. What a save from Fabianski from the penalty spot. Realistically, it should have been 3 0 if it was any better of a penalty. The next that I believe we're going to be going to will be for my birthday, Cheltenham versus Wickham. There could be some other games popping up between there. I'm going to try to go to some lower level games during the World Cup. Obviously, we're not going to Qatar. We're not that big time yet. I say yet because we've got high hopes in the channel. Please, if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button. It does mean the world to me. Join the family. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we just hit two. We're about to hit 2,700 subscribers. We're going every single day. The poll wasn't. Or the poll, all the bookies odds wasn't correct today. The away side pulled off against the odds for the win. But one man that did predict to win was Owen. He didn't think West Ham would score. So well done, mate. I'll put his link. I got the two goals right. <laughs> he did. He got the two goals right. We, we, West Ham should have scored as well. So you know you can't exactly say that. I'll put it off. You just for that he was close. I'll put his link on screen now. Go follow him on Snapchat. And uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.